Saturday, the 15th of April, 2023, and this new Publix over here on 129 is now open. Let's breeze through here. I don't know if we can get back here to the apartments or whether it's blocked off or not, but we will cut through the parking lot. I think I'll go in just to see if there's anything. I don't think they have any grand openings or grand opening sales anymore, but we will just cut through here and see. anything else is leased out yet well I don't know there's some names on some doors over there and windows that one says retail advisors there's leasing information okay well Maybe there's not any thing leased in here yet. Going around back, going around back, we'll be able to look down over those apartments whether we can get back there or not. had a lot of rain this spring. Pack them in, stack them up. The public's ought to have plenty of part-time help. People can walk to work. they're probably going to do something different later on over here on this roundabout because right now you cannot come out of this shopping center or that road and turn well that road you have to come out by that light and turn left if you want to turn left I think they may go ahead and do that roundabout and have some more apartments over there and have that road come out and then take it out up there a little bit further where you can actually go left or right but I'm just guessing at that I have no idea leasing summer 2023 you got storefronts there I thought those were garages those are storefronts so you can have a, your live work and play right here Usually when you're going to pick up your flat tire seeds in these complexes is when they're putting on the roofing. That's when you're more likely to have it anyway, get them anyway. Three stories stacked too deep. being investment property for the long haul I would think the roofing is premium roofing yes I said, said timberline but I didn't see I'm assuming it is uh, and I didn't look that close up there I'm thinking it's probably 25 year architectural if they install it properly you can get a 50 year warranty or a limited lifetime warranty out of it but that requires that you use six nails not three or four you use the proper starter strip 
and do it, install it correctly. Proper underlayment. And I haven't run across but one or two companies that's actually doing it that way. They claim they are, but they will just use three nails or maybe four instead of six. see these valleys to tell whether they have done these valleys right or not. In case y'all are wondering, yeah, I've, I was Hague Engineering Certified Residential Roofs for 10 years. I have been on probably more roofs than most roofers inspecting roofs for wind and hail damage. Is in it in the city of Atlanta. Over 300 buildings, just one claim. I got the claim because I had a 40 foot ladder that could get up on the three story buildings. About six months on that one claim. roofers cheating number of squares not using the right felt anything over a seven to, seven and over you're supposed to use 30 pound felt they use 15 to get paid for 30 you use 15 they try to get by without doing a tear off and they get paid for the tear offs just there are a lot of ways roofers can scam and they will try it all Okay, let's go in and see what they got. 